Yo, what is going on guys? This is Greg Dog, and I want to welcome back to another episode of a weapon review. Now this one's still legendary weapon review, um, and that's kind of what I'm going to be doing mostly, this is legendary weapons. Um, so the, the villainy is what I recently just got. It used to be the um, Future World Call Vendor weapon. I think it still might be, and um, the reason why it was one of the most sought after weapons before the uh, pre-April update was that it came with like Headseeker, and I think it had the... Um, uh, the I guess the missing round, where like if, if you missed a round, whenever you would hit like uh, have like that invisible bullet or whatever, it would come through and then have a secondary final round or something like that. Um, but anyway, the villainy that I ended up getting for my future world call drop was it came with Red Dot OAS, which has uh, snapshot sight and enhanced target acquisition, which is really important if you want to have snapshot on your um, on your uh, sights. And then it came with range find or ranged lens. RLR5. Uh, it has the precision scope, super effective range, heavy with uh, poor recoil control, um, and then of course true sight, which is uh, strong target acquisition, light, good recoil control, and a flexible sight. Um, overall, I think personally I prefer red dot. A lot of people use true sight, um, but personally I just prefer a dot sight. Uh, then we have partial refund, a uh, chance to return a portion of the magazine after an assist. Then for the middle column, I got perfect balance. I ended up getting brace frame, increased stability, which actually maxed out my stability completely to the end. If I had perfect balance, it'd just look like this. So overall, it has base base stats. It has really extremely high uh, uh, stability. Uh, and then the final perk was injection mold. It basically increased uh, stability, faster handling, and reduced range. So injection mold has the same exact stability increase as perfect balance, but has a little bit of a hindrance, which means it has a reduced range. And I ended up going with uh, brace frame because I have max stability, and then it just slightly reduced the magazine size from 30 to 34. I mean 24. Sorry about that. And then of course I have third eye. Now a lot of people. Uh, th their preference on third eye varies uh, completely. It's just if you find yourself all aiming down sights and like forgetting to look at your radar frequently without uh, using ADS, so then you probably would want third eye. Uh, personally, I think it's a great uh, choice to have maybe in a 6v6 playlist. Uh, just if you're hard scoping someone or just in a, mid a mid-gun fight, you have the ability to look up uh, your top left and then just sit, know that someone could be uh, coming up on your flank. Uh, something I never really run if we're doing like 3v3 uh, trial type playlists or skirmish, something like that, that I usually don't want third eye. Um, if you really want to compare it to other weapons, it has the, it's a little bit less uh, of an impact than the spare change, if that's something you want to try to compare it to. It has a quicker fire rate, um, and then of course it has... Less fire rate than the Grass of Malak, but definitely more impact. So it's kind of right in between those. Um, if, you, if you know the uh, spare change, it can two-shot, uh, which is why it's really good to have Headseeker um, on those type of uh, uh, burst-type weapons because then you, you burst the body up to the head because you because the recoil is always vertical, uh, except for like the four-burst uh, type of arc-type weapons like the Apple of Discord. And then, of course, the Grass of Malak here has uh, less impact but a faster fire rate so this one of those guns is right in between that area and um, yeah so uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys some gameplay of this and um, with by the power of editing you'll be right or jumping right into that so um, yeah so I ended up loading into a game of uh, Inferno 6v6 and um, I had recommended using this the villainy in a 6v6 playlist because honestly um, that's where it's gonna perform the best uh, if you have the ability to sit back and um, kind of let your opponents, if you're or your team, or your team focus on the opponents more, and then you can kind of just sit back and um, just be like cover fire. It's one of those weapons because it doesn't shoot as fast. Um, you're not going to be able to just rush in. It's kind of like imagine if you're using the Jade Rabbit, but you're trying to rush with it. It's not going to work very well. So th my my whole like theory was if I can play conservatively, I, that's where I can be the most successful with it. Um, so it's going to be one of those weapons like, hey, I can totally use it as a long-range weapon because the stability is so... It's it's just a laser beam. Um, now, I didn't realize that because the, uh, the the recoil is so low on this burst rifle, I could I could actually aim for the head and almost guarantee all the bullets are going to hit it. Um, just I kind of aim for the neck area and then the uh, the uh, the vertical recoil will just kind of take the rest, uh, rest of the bullets straight to the face. Um, and... Uh, 
Yeah, it, I mean, you're going to see me kind of running around a lot, just trying to, I'm like, this is the type of gun where if you can stay alive longer, you're going to be more successful. Successful, And uh, that's what I was just trying to do here, um, especially since it's a uh, um, Inferno game. You're going to see me not, I wouldn't say just campy, but I try to, I try to um, cover one specific area where I, I can see, I mean, I have a visual, like, cover of the whole map where I find that I can uh, be successful in my own way. Uh, sorry, I'm plugged up. It is summer and uh, spring is hit. Some allergies are definitely killing me. But um, yeah, I haven't made a uh, video about um, a weapon in a while. Uh, I really just uh, want to show you guys this one because I just picked this up and it, it's it's a lot of fun because it's uh, my it forced me to change my playstyle to play like a little less aggressive. Um, just kind of like sit back and try to be a, a more team player. That's what this weapon allows me to do, especially since the third eye is active on it. I can constantly aim in and uh, try to protect my teammates, but also I have the ability to uh, just completely swip, just, uh, swivel on a dime and then just turn around and help help some more teammates out for some more cover fire. And that's kind of what I was trying to focus on here on the uh, Shorts of Time map. So um, you're going to see me trying to be in this this area mostly. Um, I know you're going to see, you're like, Gray, why are you hard scoping? That's so, like, noob level. And, and, uh, and honestly, um... As much as it annoys me that people like, uh, or I get killed by body shots, in the end, you know, you won, you won the gunfight. So I, I, that's, not, that's not even something you can like diss on or be like, oh, dude, you no skill or whatever. But honestly, it it takes skill. If you whatever you can do to survive is what you should be doing. But um, yeah, so you're gonna see. I just kind of manage this outside area, uh, just because I feel like there's it's. It's less likely that I'm going to run into a shotgun out here. That's for, that's what my main goal is because if you guys don't know, I am anti-shotgun and um, just I hate being in close. If I'm in a close area and I know their team doesn't have a shotgun, I, I'm going to be in there. I'm going to try and do my best to um, push with my teammates. And honestly, if, depending on the map, you really do want to push for map control. And uh, this was the just happened to be the side that I really wanted. So um, you're going to see me kind of just do a lot of campy stuff, and um, I hope you guys do enjoy some of the gameplay. I will, if, I'm going to edit some of the stuff out that's just of me just kind of hanging out for a little bit, but if you guys want to see like the, where I usually um, try to try to position myself, then um, you might find that you can have successful success out here as well. But for the most part, uh, being on the other side of the map, I don't think that I'm going to have a lot of success with this weapon just because it is a little bit slower. Um, for example, if I were facing a Grasso Malik at this range, I would win. But if I'm a little bit closer, there's no way I could win. There's absolutely no way. Um, unless, but with more practice with this weapon, maybe it's a possibility. Or if I try to close the gap, then my melee range um, would make up for it. And uh, that's kind of why I actually ended up switching to Stormcaller recently was because of the uh, uh, Golden Gun nerf. Um, so I completely switched to using Blade Dancer on the Hunter, and then I actually... I almost this entire week I've only been using Stormcaller just because the uh, the melee ability. It basically takes over um, not having my uh, throwing knives because um, I, I kind of feel like it's in that range where hey I could get a couple body shots and then use my melee. Um, that's why I run uh, extended range on my melee as well as using the Claws of Kara and then also I run feedback so whenever someone melees me I instantly get my melee charge uh, immediately recharged and then uh, I can go on do whatever I need to for example say I use my first melee it gets them weak but they melee me then I'm given my melee charge back again to melee them for a second time which you'll see it uh, allowed me to be super successful in most of my close quarter gunfights or just uh, melee fights in general so um, hopefully you guys did enjoy some of this gameplay or the rest of the gameplay that I'll show you um, and I, there's not much really left to be said other than I hope you guys do enjoy the gameplay. And um, if you guys find my videos interesting at all, please uh, leave a like cause, or leave a comment at all if they, they were helpful. Maybe you'd like to see some other weapons of, that you'd like me to review. Maybe I have a better role on them. Um, yeah, and if you guys did like my video, go ahead and um, hit that subscribe button. And um, I'll catch you guys in the Crucible. Peace. I've been on my way now, my oh, head God. is down on an empty road, but I can hear your name loud, I'm not alone, tick tock running out, you found a way to keep me close, I'm not alone, I'm not alone, fire burning it all down. Oh,
hopefully you guys ended up or did enjoy that video and um, so on the left here I got a previous video for um, I got the sum of all tears which is I went 22 kills without dying uh, pretty fun rumble game I had and then on the right hand side I wanted to show you guys the farming method that we did for Omnigol so maybe if you missed out on how to if or maybe your friends didn't have or you didn't have anyone with you to farm Omnigol then there's that for you guys um, so if it ever comes back to the nightfall or if you're really just trying to get it done on the heroic play strike, that's there for you. But um, if you guys did enjoy the vid, uh, go ahead and leave a like, and uh, see you guys later. Peace.